right? So check this out. I go to Japan, go to China, Korea, and Japan. I take two terabytes of storage with me. I'm using a 512 gigabyte SD card. The SD card, when I get home, is corrupt, and on the SD card are five fish that I caught. Now, this may sound like an elaborate ruse. Oh, yeah, you caught some fish, but the SD card was corrupt. But on this occasion, it genuinely was. So this vlog, it's got more of... I don't think it's a bad thing. It's more about uh, the things I saw in Japan, uh, the things I did, the setups, you know, the how I fished, but you just don't see many... You only see one fish. Um, that's not to say, you know, it was easy fishing. You know, I didn't catch many fish anyway, but I did catch three or four or five that could have been on the vlog, but they're not. But what it does give you, it gives you, uh, I had to fill the vlog. So there's a lot of my sort of extended thoughts and some of the sights that I saw whilst I was on there. So it's not a bad thing. Here we go. Japan, the most spiritual and chilled place you could never be in. I've got six foot of Sunray Prototype Fluorocarbon SX 1.55 mil, and onto that I've got a single size 18 humpy just like I do at home, okay? I don't know anything about Tenkara, anything about, you know, fishing in Japan. I'm just gonna do what I think would catch fish at home until I know better. Let's see how I get on. Lightning fast, lightning fast, wow. This is a three zone fly line on the back. It's got an olive color smooth running line. Then in the belly, it's got a dark gray section. And then on the tip, it's got a high floating light gray section. So you can see where the currents are folding your line. I'm gonna change the fly because it's absolutely essential to keep it really buoyant. Zero rod, the flex reel, the Jeremy Lucas presentation zero weight. Super delicate fishing for these joyous fish, lightning quick fish. You've got to have a super delicate line so you can lift off quickly and strike into them. The complexities of the currents are what counts. You've got to place the dry fly in a way that is natural and it seems to be even more important than it does here than it does at home. They just won't take it. So you've got to alter your angle a lot, use your feet, move around, but it's absolutely critical to have the right diameter line. If any's on the water, you know, it's gonna fold into those currents rather than dragging and skating across it. This outfit, absolutely perfect for lightning fast fish, complex currents, and crystal clear water. I could not be happier. Okay, hands down, they beat me. I hooked three or four, had one very close to landing, but didn't get them in. Lesson learned, this is a very hard gig. They're so lightning quick and, well, it's just really dry fly, fishing at the, dry fly fishing at the very sharp end. Not big fish, but wow, they just totally zone you in, totally sort of draw your focus. I don't know how long I've been here, 
I mean, I've got to stop fishing here because there's a whole load of glorious river I want to see. And if I, oh, they're addictive. I must have walked about four miles today. And the problem is with this type of fishing, oh, every bend, around every bend, there's that. That is fly fishing heaven. So I'm going to fish it. Oh, are you serious? That is dry fly heaven. That to me, that's why I came here. That even pace of crinkly water, trees everywhere, it's perfect. My nymph set up. I'm still using the same line, the German Lucas presentation line in the zero weight. I've changed to a top dropper of some sort of like hair's ear type thingy bob, but it's got like a bead and it's got some like hairy hackle around it. That's nice. And then I've got some realistic stuff. On the middle dropper, no, sorry, on the bottom dropper, I've got this sort of, I don't know, nymphy type, stone buggy type, three legged realistic thing that a, um, that a Dutch friend of mine ties. They're absolutely amazing flies. And on the middle dropper, I've got another realistic sort of buggy type. Jim Carrey said, don't fail at something you've compromised for. Meaning, if you don't like the job that you're in, why are you doing it? Well, because you feed your family and all that. Well, you might get sacked. You might do the thing that you hate doing for compromising yourself to do what you need to do, yeah? And then you might get sacked or made redundant or the company might go bust. Yeah, Jim Carrey said it. He said, why fail at something that you've compromised for? Why don't you fail at something you dream about. Why don't you dream about something and fail at that? Because you never know. Well, that was Japan. It's Norway next. It never stops. I'm going to be fishing Norway, Japan, Argentina, Costa Rica, Venezuela, South America. Anywhere where I can find fish that'll take a fly. For this session, I'm done. and I feel a little bit more human again. Do you, do you want any? No. In order to ensure a rapid evacuation during an emergency, do not place any baggage on the aisle or near the emergency exits. Please be responsible for any valuables in your baggage during the journey.